goes High Royal, in goes Regal Reality. We are ready. They're off. Racing away in the bet 365, Earl of Sefton Stakes. This group three over a mile and a furlong. Bit slow to get going. Blanched and dropping in at the back of the field. And Novus just briefly encouraged along in rear. A regal reality. He wasn't keen to go down, but he's certainly come out with more zest and he's leading the field. Shows up here by three parts of a length over High Royal in second place. All blue colours, Godolphin Silks, Ottoman Fleet in third. Next in the pack is Astro King, the Royal Blue and Yellow Stars, with Claymore between that pair. Then the blue and white of the Foxes is also just chivied at on the inside rail is Imbesto, covered up at this stage with about three and a half lengths to make up. Blanchland and Novas continue to be the final pair. It is Regal Reality and Ryan Moore. Out in advance of the field by three parts of a length over High Royal and Neil Callan in second place. To the left as we look on, Astro King is still right there, last year's Cambridgeshire winner. Ottoman Fleet looking to go back to back in the Earl of Sefton is in fourth. Away to the outside, Novus is creeping right from off the pace, is now getting much closer. Claymore encouraged along, and Besto still looking to slice through on the running rail. Then comes Blanchland, and the Fox is now his two and a half lengths off the back of the field. Heading past the bushes with just over two furlongs to go. Regal Reality tackled by High Royal. In their wing mirrors, Ottoman Fleet is now breezing into contention. Away to the left is Astro King. There then followed by Besto, who's asked for more. Into the dip, a furlong and a half to go. Here now. Now is Ottoman Fleet striking. Ottoman Fleet comes to join High Royal. Then Regal Reality and Besto can't get to them. It's Ottoman Fleet who shows up by a length and a half from High Royal and Astro King, who both continue to fight. But Ottoman Fleet has done it again in the Earl of Sefton. Astro King and High Royal followed. Then Regal Reality, Claymore and Besto. They were trailed into Novus Blanchland and finally the Foxes. Ottoman Fleet has now won back-to-back -back Earl of Sefton's. It's a fifth one for William Buick. Congratulations. Uh, it's nice to be in the winner's enclosure. You're probably itching to be here slightly earlier than this. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's early in the year, competitive races. So, no, I'm glad to, glad to get this one. Just putting your leg mostly. But the horse coming into this, um, what, did you think he was in the same kind of form? Uh, his runs in Dubai this year as compared to last year? Yeah, um, he just didn't turn up in Dubai the last day and um, you know he's been ultra consistent um, up until then um, and he, he, he's um, he, he's very good when when things go go his way in the races you know and, and today he felt great going cantering down to the start he looked fantastic so you know he's a horse who, who, who does show his well-being so um, you know I knew if, if I could get things right with him then, then we'd been with a shot but um, you know today he was extremely straightforward um, he loves to pass horses he travels super, super, supremely well and it was it was just a case of really not getting there too early, which I suppose you, you prefer to, to wait a little longer with him. You know, like when he won this race last year, I think I came from last. So today, that's just the way it fell. He jumped so well from the stores, and there wasn't a, an early pace on really. So I landed in a good in a good spot. But um, no, he's, he's done it. He's done it well, and he's very straightforward. And with the tailwind conditions as well, probably best not to be quite so far off the pace. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I suppose. You know the way the track is riding this week, it, it probably that's probably the easier case. But um, you have to try and find a happy medium as well. <laughs> With the horse itself. Yeah. yeah. Um, dance sequence in the next, obviously an important filly, high up in the 1,000 guineas betting, high up on your mind. Um, what do you make of the conditions out there and how they'll suit a horse that is bred to stay a bit further than this? Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, she showed in the also sharp that she's got to turn her foot, um, and and she overcame that. You know, albeit being inexperienced. And um, you know, she, she comes into today with just two runs behind her belt, under under a belt. But um, you know, it's a it's a trial, it's a good trial. You know where you stand, and uh, you know she's uh, she was a lovely filly last year, and let's hope she can she can show that again this year. Have you seen much of her this spring? And if so, has she pleased you? I have, yeah, I have seen her a couple of times, been on her a couple of times, and um, no, she's she's really pleased me, and she's she looks, she looks to have done extremely well from two to three. So, yeah. We'll find out in a minute, but certainly before the race, she's done all the right things. Okay. Well, very best of Thank luck you. and congratulations. Thank as you well. very much, Lydia. Thank you. Thank you. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.